All right, welcome back to High School Playbook. The station moms providing us with the halftime orange slices to get us ready for the second half of the show. Now, speaking of second halves, the second half of the regular season beginning Friday night with a conference matchup between Reedsville and North Forsyth. Both teams coming in a Friday night looking at a rebound following last week's loss. The Vikings looking to protect home field where they're one and one on the year. That record sure to improve with defensive plays like this. Reedsville Al Lee is intercepted by Travion Bell. Bell is running up the sidelines and he's finally bumped out of bounds. Vikings in business on offense inside Rams territory, but quarterback Jaquez Jackson is intercepted by Jakir Pinnix. And Pinnix is on the move. He's up the sidelines. He's smelling some pay dirt. He's got one man a miss, but he's bumped out of bounds. But that sets up Lee to Grayson Robinson for the score. Reedsville in the win column, 28-7 over North for sight. RJ Reynolds looking to snap a two game losing streak hosting Davie County and Davie comes out absolutely on fire Friday night. First quarter, Ty Miller hands off into the end zone for the score, 12 yards. It's War Eagle up seven nothing. More from Miller, still in the first. This time a dart to David Patton, 34 yards for the score. It's 14 nothing. Davey, I mentioned the War Eagles being on fire. It's Miller again. He can't find anyone open, so he's going to tuck and run himself. The War Eagles soar to Winston-Salem and walk out with the victory, 47-3. to Welcome to welcome North Davidson and the Black Knights playing an out-of-conference matchup with Watauga. First quarter, Watauga opens up the score. And Everett Grider taking the carry up the gut, and he's diving in for six. Pioneers take the early lead. Now still in the first, Black Knights trailing 14-0. We've got a top play nominee. Amir Dalton catches the pass. The Piles think they got him, but they don't. He's still on his feet, and he's into the end zone for a score. What a play as North Davidson trails 14-7. Watauga answering right back with a score of their own. Quarterback Maddox Green keeping it himself, and he's a bad man, folks. 74 yards to the house. The Pios knock off North Davidson 56-14. Down the road at Lexington, the Yellow Jackets hosting East Davidson third quarter. Lexington leading 23-7. Quarterback Ty Williams calling his own number, and he's through the line, and he's racing by our camera guy. 51 yards for the score. It's all Yellow Jackets. They lead by three scores. East Davidson trying to get some points in the second half. Quarterback Tegan Hendrick is running for his life, and he's sacked by Cabrian Robinson in the backfield. Lexington taking advantage on offense. Isaiah Smith takes the handoff. He's in the pay dirt for the score. Lexington rolls to the 38-13 win. Some more scores to take a look out. Mount Airy, stop me if you heard this before. Huge win, 64-0 over North Stokes. And North Surrey knocks off Wilkes Central 47-21. Some more scores to take a look at from across the triad. Oak Grove in the win column 56-13. And Star Mount continues to roll 42 to nothing. We've reached the portion of this week's program where you voted three choices. Now down to one. We unveil our high school playbook. Play of the week. And it's garnered over 66% of the votes. We head out to Dudley High Point Central's DJ Shaw calling snatchies. He intercepts Andrew Atmore's pass and he takes it to the house 80 yards on the pick six. Dudley gets the win, but High Point Central wins top play. Our team of the night comes from our game of the week. West Forsyth with an opening shot heard round the triad. The Titans with a monumental victory over Mount Tabor Friday night, 40 to 14. This one usually decides the conference. West taking a major step in the opener. Now we would be remiss here at High School Playbook if we didn't take a moment to remember former director Brian Barnes. This past Sunday, Barnes passed away at age 57. While you never saw Brian on camera, he was a huge role in development of high school playbook for many, many years. Now, personally, in the two plus years we worked together, no one, and I mean no one, was more helpful in giving me a lay of the land during the high school football season. Brian was also the biggest St. Louis Cardinals fan I've ever met, and I'm sure he had a hand in them taking two of three from my Orioles this week. We're going to miss him here at WXII tremendously, and I can say that for everyone. No easy way to segue from that, but I hope this week's show did Brian proud. I know I'm proud of the efforts of everyone this week as week five of high school football season is in the books. Conference play underway, which means the path to a championship is being paid. If you miss any of tonight's show, we'll have a condensed version of tonight right here Saturday morning. Until next Friday, have a good night.